In this video I'm going to show you a very quick run through on how to bring points into line work. So here on the drawing space you can see that I've got some lines that are in here. These lines represent different things like the edge of the pavement and the footpath. And what we need to do is to bring in some survey points. So a couple of ways to do this. I'm going to show you what I think is the quickest way. Um, over on the Prospector tab, you can find the button for points. And if you do a right click on that and go to Create and do a left click on the word Create, a new toolbar appears on your screen. And what we're looking to do is to import points from a text file. The text file has been generated from a total station. So we select the Import Points option. A new window appears. First thing we need to do is tell the computer the file that we want to bring in here. So we have to add a file in here. So click on the Add. Um, my file has been saved into a folder called Create Points. So you select on it. It's just a text file. You can tell by the file extension down here that it's a text file. Select it or double by double clicking. Um, and the name of it should appear in here now. Now this is important. You need to make sure that the file format is filtered in the correct uh, sequence. The data I'm using is in the format point number, northing, easting, elevation and description. So I need to select the P, N, E, Z, D option from the filtering here. If I pick the wrong one, if I put my easting before my northing, I'm going to end up with my points coming in in a different location. So it's important to know the format of the data you're bringing in. Uh, we can add it to a group probably a good idea to add it to a group and I want to add it to a group just called survey data. Um, there isn't a group in there yet called survey data so I can create one by clicking on this button here and I'm just going to call it survey data and click OK. So now um, that should do us. Double, double check here we've got the correct file brought in here it's in the right format. Uh, we're adding it to a group and the group is called survey data. We don't need to worry about transformation or adjustments just yet and go OK. And you should see now that the points have appeared in your drawing space. If I zoom in here now, we've got descriptions CL for center line and EP for edge of pavement uh, and various different descriptions depending on what the survey data is telling us. So we can close down the create points toolbar now. Next thing I want to do is to create a surface on here and the surface I want to create is just for the road pavement. I'm not really interested in any contour data in the uh, green area which would be the space up here where I've got my cursor now which was a grass area. I just want to get contours going on the roadway. So what I can do to make it easy for my survey selection is to create a point group and that point group will give the information to the surface. So on our point groups here, I can expand this down. If you're getting this warning sign coming up here beside surface definition, if you do a right click on it and go update, it will just refresh it and uh, it should get rid of that. Here we have the uh, point group called survey data. But if we look at that, if we, uh, if we do a, go into the properties of it here and have a look, um, it's basically got every single point in there. So the survey data has brought everything in. Now I think there's about 850 points in this. Um, and we've got all kinds of descriptions in here for gutters to front of wall, back of wall, tree, all that type of stuff. What I want to do is filter that down now so that I've got a set of points that are just in relation to the road. So what I need to do is to create a new point group. So come up to our point groups, hover over it, do a right click and come to new and we'll give it a name. So I'm going to call this road point data. Um, we don't need to select anything on here, but if we go to raw description matching, this is uh, where the, the, the speed of the package comes in here. I want to create a point group that it only has center lines and only has edge of pavement. So what's happening here is the road uh, sorry, the group that I'm making, which is called the road surface or road group, will only show points that have their raw description CL for center line and EP for edge of pavement. And if we go to the point list and have a look, you can see here now that where we did have 850 ish points, uh, we have way less now. And the descriptions are all either EP 
R for right hand edge, or EPL for left hand edge, or CL for center lines. All the descriptions that were in the uh, survey data point group that had trees and gutters and things like that in them are not in this point group. So in other words, the point group we've just described is only using points that are for center lines and points that are for edge of pavement. So when we're sure of that, we can just go apply, go OK. You won't see anything magical happening on the screen, but if we come over here now, we can see our point group has been created called road points data. And if I click on that and have a quick look over here on the points preview, we should see that all the descriptions are either CL or a variation of CL and EP. OK, so in other words, that group of points that I've called road points data is ignoring trees and it's ignoring gutters and it's ignoring footpaths and it's only got points in there that are in relation to the edge of the pavement or the center line of the road. So the next step then would be to create the surface using those points. So to do that, we come over here to our prospector tab and we have a look at our toolbar here and we go on to surfaces and do a right click, create a surface, give it a name, and uh, we'll just call it, uh, we'll call it existing road surface because it may be a case that we're overlaying this road with a new level. So we'll call this existing road surface and go to OK. So that has created a surface for us, but all it is at this stage is just a name. It doesn't have any definition. So we need to expand these menus down here and go to our definition. And what we want to do is define it by a point group. So do a right click on point group and go add. That brings up a list of all the point groups that are in the project. And we want to bring in the point group that we created a couple of minutes ago called road points data. So double click on that. And we can look at the point list again just to double check. And we can go OK. And let me just double check I've done that right. So click on road points data and go apply and go OK. And now we have a surface that has been defined using only the edge of the road and center line of the road data. You can see here some of my triangulation lines have come across the screen here at an angle uh, where it's trying to join this center line here to this edge of the pavement here. OK, so we might have to do a little bit of trimming out to make sure that we don't get contours coming out here, which we don't really need. So it's very easy at that stage to go in and edit the surface by selecting triangles and getting rid of them. Uh, and I've covered that in a separate video tutorial. So this video tutorial was all just about bringing in a text file of survey data into the project, into the points, and creating a new point group called road points data. And the main thing about creating that when we created that point group was that it only brought in data that had the raw description of CL or edge of pavement. And that has allowed us to create a surface which ignores data from things like trees, gutter lines, uh, footpaths. We're only creating a surface for the road now.